Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the ordinary affiliate ascorbic acid 15% solution. This is a stable and less irritating form of pure vitamin C. It's an excellent antioxidant that fights free radicals to protect the skin from environmental factors such as pollution and UV radiation. It also boosts collagen production to reduce fine lines and wrinkles and smoothens textured skin while reducing hyperpigmentation over time to achieve a more even out skin tone. Now it is fine to to use this vitamin C solution daily in the morning and the evening and it is suitable for all skin types. It is also okay to use this solution on its own. If you want to keep th things very simple and it targets your skin concerns, go ahead and just use that one. However, if you just want to include it in your current existing skincare routine, you may be already using certain treatments. Then I need to emphasize the conflicts, what should not be used together in the same routine, as it can potentially lead to irritation and sensitivities or losing the benefits of one or the other treatment, as well as the order of application as your vitamin C solution is a water-free solution. And I want to go over those points at first. And you'll find the entire PowerPoint, which is what I'm about to share with you in the description box down below, along with the timestamp so if you want to move forward you can go ahead and do so because after that we are heading into the application. Now let's get started with the conflicts, keeping the main focus at first to what can cause uh, irritation and sensitivities and then it would be best to use them in separate routines, using one in the morning, the other one in the evening on alternate days. And at first I'm referring to strong exfoliating acid masks as the ordinary offers themselves. And then please keep in mind that if you're already using a retinol, retinal, guanactive retinoid or even another retinoid in your skincare routine to not use it uh, along with your ethylate ascorbic acid. Keep it very basic to an anti-aging routine. Use your vitamin C in the morning and then your vitamin A derivative product in the evening. This is how you get most out of it. Then when it comes to where you can potentially lose the benefits of one or the other treatment, well this refers to peptides. The ordinary has several peptide serums which you can see right here. It would be best to keep them in separate routines to make sure that you're not losing those benefits. Then niacinamide. This can be the ordinary niacinamide serum, this can be any other niacinamide serum or even the niacinamide powder when mixing it with something else. Do not use them in the same routine. And then the ordinary EUK, which is also an antioxidant, it's excellent. However, avoid using them in the same routine. Either just go with one of them or keep them in separate routines. This is how simple you can keep it. Now that you know what conflicts can apply depending on the treatments that you are currently using, I now want to head into the order of application. Now, I prepared for you an example morning and evening skincare routine. I want to go over the steps. Um, you can recreate this routine at home. It's totally fine if it targets your skin concerns and skin type. Plus, I took already care of the conflicts. Now, let's get started with the morning skincare routine, which you can see right here. First of all, you want to properly wash your face to use an irregular water-based cleanser that's suitable for your skin type and needs. Then, if you want to include an eye serum in this example with ordinary products, the caffeine solution would be your only option because the peptide serum would conflict with your vitamin C solution. And Unless you wouldn't layer them on top of each other. Then the next point would be another water-based face serum. You can see some great hydrating examples right here and then you would apply your ethylate ascorbic acid solution on top of it. Now you can see what steps are optional. It's fine to leave them out and just use the ethylate solution on its own. But please do not forget your sunscreen during the daytime if you have sun exposure because you want to properly protect your skin. As for your evening skin care routine, I've changed it up a bit. Um, you're starting off with your cleansing step, in this case non-exfoliating acid cleanser, because I've included a leave-on exfoliating acid AHA or BHA toner or serum if you want to work with an exfoliant. Then you move on to a hydrating water-based serum if you want to include it. Then your vitamin C solution and then lastly, if still needed, your moisturizer. And then if you're trying to remove stubborn sunscreen and or makeup, your regular water-based cleanser may not be able to properly remove it. This is where I recommend using an oil or balm cleanser. It's fine to use it on its own if you can properly remove it from the skin or do a double cleanse. Using your oil or balm cleanser at first, 
Then apply to dry skin, massage it all over, rinse it off, leave the skin wet and then head into your regular water-based cleanser to remove any last traces and residue that you may have missed to have a freshly washed and clean face before continuing with the rest of your evening skincare routine. Now below the example routines you'll find a general guide plus the frequency guide when working with an exfoliant so that you have a proper um, example skincare routine that you can follow when trying this out at home. Now, if you want to go over the example routines plus the conflicts in your own time, it's all in my PowerPoint. This also includes the product descriptions, which list all the products that I have emphasized, for whom they are suitable, what they specifically do, so that you can select right uh, treatments for your needs, as well as a general guide, how you can do a patch test, the order of application when using the ordinary products, then the difference between a damp and a wet skin, some layering tips, and a proper sunscreen application and removal guide. It's all in the PowerPoint, check the description box down below, there you'll find the link and you can save it to your device. But now, let's head into the application. Now before you apply the ordinary ethylate ascorbic acid solution to the skin, remember to properly wash your face. Use lukewarm to warm water as this helps the cleanser to work more effectively. And choose the right cleanser for your skin type and needs to properly remove excess oil, dirt, sweat, sunscreen and makeup from the skin. And remember when working with a leave-on exfoliating acid product to use a non-exfoliating acid cleanser to ensure that it's not going to cause any sensitivities. And in this example I'm using the ordinary glucoside foaming cleanser which is great for all skin types but ideal for normal to oily skin so let's go ahead and do this first wet your face with lukewarm to warm water next squeeze out a small amount of the cleanser firm it up between your hands and then evenly massage it all over your face for about 30 seconds rinse well using your hands If you prefer, you can use a soft, clean microfiber washcloth as a helper. Wet it with warm water. Squeeze it out so that it's damp. And then gently swipe it over your face, focusing on the hairline around the eyes and the neck to remove last traces of cleanser, makeup and sunscreen. Then rinse your face again several times, ensuring everything is removed. Avoid applying the ordinary ethylate ascorbic acid solution to wet skin as this can lead to improper absorption and layering issues. Instead, gently pat your skin with a clean towel to remove any remaining water droplets from the skin surface. Now you can immediately apply the ordinary ethylate ascorbic acid solution to the skin. However, if you're planning on using a water-based eye serum or an exfoliating acid toner or serum or maybe a hydrating serum, use those treatments before applying an ethylate ascorbic acid solution. And in this example, I'm using the ordinary marine hyaluronics to add a lightweight layer of hydration to the skin. To apply the serum, dispense 5 to 8 drops onto the palm of your hand. Rub your hands together to distribute the serum and then evenly blend it all over your face and neck. Now let it absorb into the skin for about a minute and then layer the ordinary ethylate ascorbic acid solution on top of it. To apply, dispense 3 to 4 drops onto the palm of your hand or fingertips. Rub them together to distribute the solution and then evenly blend it all over your face and neck, avoiding the eyelids and lips. Now you can stop at this point and there's no need to add an additional moisturizing product on top of it. However, if you want to, then wait one to two minutes for your vitamin C to absorb into the skin and then follow with your favorite moisturizer afterwards. In this example, I'm using the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors plus Beta-Glucan to add lightweight surface hydration. Squeeze out a bean-sized amount onto your fingertip. Rub your fingers together to distribute the moisturizer and then evenly blend it all over your face and neck. Now leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And if it is your daytime skin routine and you have sun exposure, let it absorb into the skin for one to two minutes and then layer your sunscreen on top of it to protect your skin. And keep in mind that you'll find the entire PowerPoint, which includes the example skin routines, conflicts, product descriptions, and so much more in the description box down below, and you can save it to your device. Now, I do hope that you enjoyed this video, that you find it helpful. If you did so, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring.